Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Second End Lair. Let's get ready to head over to the Temple of Water. Practically right next door. You know anything else about the place? Oh, yeah. Yeah, poor Olivia. Holy cow. I, I know. We were kind of there. Well, wouldn't you know about that? I mean, you're in charge of the whole place. I would think you would have hired more Vestalings, not just the, the Acolytes or whatever we got going. We haven't really seen any other uh, Vestals, have we? But, oh well. Okay, so I don't want to rest up at the inn yet because I want to keep it nighttime. And it's going to be a real quick trip to the Temple of Water there. Five minutes, we'll be in and out. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> But, uh, yeah, let's uh, get healed up there at the very least. Let's see, I think my abilities are okay, but I got some new equipment that I'd like to equip. Let's see, not on YouTube, but uh, let's see. I want Magnolia to have Rods of Fire, even though, I mean, they're a mage-type weapon. I don't really need the magic attack, but I want that 10% fire damage boost that also applies to battle items. And I would think physical attacks as well. Though I never really use it for that purpose. We got new hats, so why don't we get those going? But yeah, I don't need, like, the robe or something right now. I'm not going to be using her for magic damage for at least a little while. But otherwise, I think the setup is good there for now. Let's get rid of anything else that I don't really care about. See, as usual, sell any battle items that don't deal damage besides the magnifying glasses. Let's see. Oh, I could actually use a few more of those. Maybe not right away, but eventually. Let's see. For equipment that I want to hold on to, I don't really need to hold on to a whole bunch of axes. The heavy axe is the new one, right? Okay, good, good. Uh, I do want to hold on to a cross spear for later for exploiting multiple creature types. That'll be pretty useful later on. We'll never need noxious rods again. Get rid of those. And melee rods. Let's see. With staves, I don't think I'll use those, but I'll hold on to them anyway. We don't need Mongoche anymore because we've got the kunai for their evasion. But for damage, we got those new cookies, and that'll be very useful for us. Okay, so with katanas, I only need two samurais. I probably don't need any kotetsus, but I'll hold on to one of them. See, I almost never use great swords. Even if there's dragons to kill, I generally don't need it. Oddly enough. But I definitely want to hold on to the Serpentis, which is water elemental there. But everything else, just keep the strongest stuff. Oh, uh, there's like some armor or stuff that I could sell too. Let's see. Yeah, ingredients. Those are fine. We can mostly leave that alone. See, I'm going to hold on to the alarm earrings, even though I'm not going to use them right now. But they could be useful in a situation where I might want to have an extra support slot instead of precog. So we'll hold on to one of those for later. But I still want to steal a whole bunch more. Uh, purely to sell them. We can get rid of the old hats. But for the body armor there, let's see. I'm going to hold on to the Justicore even though... We got ninja garbs that I'll probably always use on my physical attackers. But otherwise, I think we're good to go. Let's head to the Temple of Water. Oh, I don't mean to save. We'll auto-save on the way out anyway. But yeah, this will be, well, a short trip. I mean, we're practically right next door to it. Hopefully we get there before the Empire does. Why don't we get into a... Random battle here. Yeah, we're pretty close. Oh, right. A brave attack. That'll be nice. Okay, so with you, 
Let's go double lightning needle on these guys. They don't have that reflect or mirror arrow thing going on, so use them while you can. Ooh, another brave attack. That could help. Well, since I do have some brave attacks going, why don't we put wanton destruction to use against these guys? I'll just go with one of those, but then one of those, but then follow up with, yeah, a couple trample or a few tramples there. That ought to be good enough. Let's see, Magnolia, let's leave you alone for now. But Tiz, I would like to, yeah, steal some more of those uh, alarm earrings from them. That ought to be good enough. All right. Yeah, look at that damage and wanton destruction. One thing about that, and uh, trample for that matter, uh, despite not using the conventional attack command, uh, physical damage from other commands like the like trample or wanton destruction is directly proportional to your maximum hit count, and that'll be pretty important coming up in the near future. For now, though, let's see. We got a new enemy, Rosalia. They are weak to fire, and they can uh, paralyze your party members, so you want to watch out for that. Let's see, I'm thinking if I want Magnolia to handle this alone, or maybe have Tiz handle the battle item usage. I could equip him with a couple more of those rods of fire. Let's see, so if I go... Yeah, we can do that with Tiz there. I think we can handle that. Let's go. Yeah, let's go with a good. Hmm, maybe I could go with bomb fragments. I'm just trying to think about how I how much damage I would deal with that. Because I got uh, what is that? A barrage that also affects my damage. So let's see, if I use six bomb fragments, I could probably, yeah, I could kill them all, but I wouldn't, uh, I, would, I wouldn't be able to examine them and keep both of them above zero BP. So yeah, why don't we just have Magnolia do it herself? She'll be fine. Let's go magnifying glass, Oop. magnifying glass. Do we have, we got the rods equipped, right? Okay, good. Yeah, despite being mage rods, they also affect your battle item damage as long as it's fire elemental. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, with those, I think that'll be good enough for her to kill these guys. Oh, barely enough. With the fire rods to help out. I think I would deal 7,735 damage with that. Something like it. That'll help. But let's see. With these guys... Okay, so... Yeah, I don't need any strong battle items. We could just go for... Zeus's Wraths. And that'll get the job done. Get a few of those in there. That'll be good enough. I think we can handle another consecutive battle. Why not? Ah, more of these guys again. Uh-oh. Uh, please don't kill anyone. Thank you. Okay, so let's just go with a good needle. And that'll be the end of it here, I think. Very nicely done there. Oh, wow. Look at that JP boost. Very nice. Get a level. And some new abilities. Pierce magic defense. Camp Mastery, and Eye of the Wolf. Wow, we're going to have to make a, a lot of changes to my party setup here. Because that's all I care about with those job classes. Okay, so for you... See, I'm going to make him into a white mage, even though I don't really need it in the near future. But I have nothing better for him to do. And I mostly want him to do that to learn Holy which is really powerful. 
But yeah, we're not going to be learning that for quite some time. But I might as well do this now. Okay, so we got... Yeah, the spirit magic. I think I'm just going to leave everything alone. Oddly enough, white mage is also fairly proficient with rods. So I don't think I even need like a rod lore triple wield or anything. So I think I'll just leave that the rest alone there. Now with Adia, now that we've gotten Eye of the Wolf, that's really all of the support skills that I care for her to learn from my current job classes. I don't think I need sword lore for her. So, now I want to make her into her ultimate job class, the ninja. One of the things that makes ninja obscenely overpowered is that they have a really high maximum in hit count. So, even if another job class has, like, better weapon proficiency or a strength mo modifier, ninja would still probably deal more damage anyway, just because they have so many more hits. Okay, so as a ninja, for now, I'll stick with Warfare, though I may want to change that around. I could use JP up for just gaining more job levels, so I have slightly better stats as a ninja. But I don't think that's really necessary. I would rather have the support slot available. So let's give her Whisker Sense, and then I can take that off of someone else there. But yeah, the reason Ninja has a lot of hit multipliers is because every job class has a hidden fixed hit count scaling stat that increases your maximum hit count. And that can't be transferred to any other job class like a, a weapon lore skill would do. We've also got dual wield. Which, uh, well, let me equip a whole bunch of knives because, well, ninjas have maximum proficiency with those. Uh, where'd it go? Ah, there you go. So yeah, even though Scimitar is a bit stronger, I don't have as much sword proficiency as Fenzer does. So yeah, look at that attack power there. I was... Well, how much did I have as uh, Fenzer before? Because with Ninja, I have innate dual wield. So yeah, 103 compared to... What was it? 132? Or something there. One thing about dual wield that, uh, contrary to the in-game description there, it doesn't just remove the offhand weapon penalty for your right and left hand slots. It also applies to the head and torso slots. So having in a dual wield with quad wield is obscenely overpowered. So the algorithm for your maximum hit count is equal to 1 plus your agility divided by 10, rounded down, plus your experience level divided by whatever the hit count scaling stat is of your job class. In this case with Ninja, that is 12. Thief is 12. Most job classes have 18. Mages usually have, I think, 30 or something negligible. So, yeah, generally I like using ninja with, like, a weapon lore or something, let's say. Just because they have such a big hit count that affects even trample damage. And then, let's see, with Magnolia, now that we're done with Black Mage... I would like her to start working on Patissier. Mostly to learn... Uh, where is it? Oh, I gotta go back here. Yeah, mostly to learn items for all. So single targeting items could hit all enemies or all allies. So that's pretty nice. Although I don't need that right away. I don't really have anything better to do. Okay, and what else do we got? I think I'm just going to leave Magnolia alone there. Event... Oh, right. We got Whisker Sense there. Might as well switch that around. Okay, so let's go with Precog on her. Get rid of Whisker Sense there. That ought to be good, huh? Yeah, that's good. 
And then for Tiz, I think I'm just going to leave him alone for the most part. Might be a good idea to give him like a, a triple wield or something. Yeah, why don't we do that? Let's go triple wield. And what else? We got our attack item amp. Eventually, I'll want to give him katanas. I might as well equip that now. But otherwise, yeah, why don't we just leave you alone for the moment? Okay, and check out the Temple of Water. You ought to, like, hire more acolytes there, Agnes. Just a thought. I mean, a few guards or something? Anything? Well, that sucked from the moon base. Oh, well. But, uh, okay, so let's, uh, yeah, get that shield going before the Empire does. Well, it doesn't sound ridiculously high-pitched, so I think we're good. We are, right? So this is the water crystal. And this is how it's supposed to be glowing? Oh, yeah, I suppose you haven't seen a crystal normally working. Probably. I don't get a stinging sensation from this light. <laughs> Sylvie, can we ask you to shield the crystal? Do you know how to do it? Hey! Whoa! Even I feel reinforced. Way to go! Not really much of a shield there. I mean, they could just, like, go between the lines. Now we can breathe easier. Thank you for helping us, Sylvie. Well, that's it. The Empire can't do whatever they want to do. Yeah, thanks, Sylvie. Now, why don't we get you back to the Matriarch? Surely we're not going to be set upon some gigantic wild beast. Oh, we aren't? Oh. No boss fight this time, huh? Maybe they're outside. Waiting for us. Menacingly. No, I guess not. Okay. Well then, let's just get back to base. Maybe get another random battle while we're at it. I'm always surprised whenever I get to Chapter 3 with how much JP the enemies give us. Oh, and we get a little party chat. What's going on here? Oh, yeah. Well, they can. They don't... They don't have to, right? Well, I guess we needed to get one in the first game. Well, what? She isn't now? <laughs> Quiet, you. Only 48? Oh. Well, then it's not an annual thing. Hmm. Oh. Well, whatever works for you. Hmm. What reunion festival? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Something like that. Not a big fan of fireworks, I'll be honest with you viewers. Nothing against it, I just, I'm just not particularly in love with them. Eh, it looks nice every now and then. But, uh, okay, so we got all that, and I think we're, yeah, we're all at full, right? Okay, good. But, yeah, we might want to save before proceeding onward. Oh, I guess everyone's still asleep at this hour. Where is everyone? Oh, I don't think you were there, were you? Oh. Oh, yeah, that was with, uh... Yeah, I remember that. Uh, Victoria, I think it was? Well, anyway. I'm most relieved to see you all back with us. Oh. Huh? What's up? 
You must have been nervous. Thank you, Sylvie. You did very well. Ah. Sylvie was great. The water crystal is safe and sound thanks to her. Comforting news indeed. We can all feel secure now. Surely the Empire won't find a way to get around this problem. Tonight is the very evening of our annual Sacred Flower Festival. If you are able, won't you join us for the festivities? Well, we got nothing better to do. Marie, I wouldn't miss it for the world. It'll be good to relax just a bit. Let's see what all the excitement is about. Besides, the Empire is bound to come back sooner or later. We've done everything we need to do. Ah. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Are they all competing directly against each other? Let the 48th Sacred Flower Festival begin. Well, it's not so sacred anymore. And now, I'm proud to introduce the contenders for this year's Flower Maiden and Bloom Groom. Oh, okay, they're separate then. Let's give them all a big round of applause. For doing absolutely nothing. No? No applause? Mm. I love Vash. Look at all the handsome men and lovely ladies. I wouldn't have stood a chance. <laughs> Even if it's all about inner beauty now, it doesn't change the fact that the contestants are all real lookers. Well, that helps. You sure dodged a bullet there, huh, Tiz? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, and after I went through all the trouble of finding this revealing outfit. <laughs> That outfit is exactly why I refused. Look, it's <laughs> about to start. How does one compete for inner beauty anyway? Talking, I guess? I guess they'll each go up on stage and try to express their best qualities. Posting about what a good person you are sounds kind of counterproductive. Yeah. And now, it's time for our contestants to tell us all just what makes them so wonderful. Boobs? First up, we have entry number one, Miss Bergen. How great are you? Um, well, I'm not just, like, totally hot. I also do, like, volunteer work and stuff. And I totally, like, love animals. Good for you. Although you got some of those fairy pins there. Don't care about them. No! Hmm? Did you just hear a scream? What was that? I did. It sounded like it came from the city gates. Oh, it did? I'll take your word for it. And it didn't sound good. We should check it out. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Uh-oh. They found us. That was fast. Spit it out, woman. Who attacked the Skyhold? Not us! I, I don't know! Confess, or suffer the consequences. Well, maybe you could give them false information. Oh, somebody, help! Leave her alone! We can take them. Hmm? Wait, you're... Uh... What? It's Eugene Ultra. In that case, kill them all! Uh-oh. These guys are a little bloodthirsty. For mini boss time. Okay, so all these guys are weak to thunder. So let me see how my agility looks here. Okay, I think we'll be okay here with. Let's see, with you, let's go double lightning blast. Since there's three of them, little follow up couldn't hurt. I'm gonna leave Idea alone there for now. I don't want to risk her acting before I get my uh, damage through. Okay, so you could go with that. Maybe a few more Zeus's Wraths. But then Tiz. There's nothing I would care to steal from these guys. So, yeah, maybe you should just examine them. Yeah, that ought to be good. 
Oh, you got quite a bit more HP than I would have thought. Well, we'll see if we got enough. Uh-oh. Oh, just a little short. That's fine. We can't fight consecutive battles anyway, so don't worry about it. Well, at least we got them examined. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. We won't encounter them randomly for quite some time. Don't worry. Just doing our job. We got a job here? But it looks like we're not done yet. What do you mean? <sighs> Leave me alone! Uh-oh. Help! Somebody help! Blast it! They're all over the city! Don't you guys have any guards around here or something? Besides Let's us? Get up real quick. We gotta alert everyone. Well, I think everyone's alerted now. I'll head to the stage. You guys hold things together here. Roger that. Something. We'll meet up when we're done here. Idiot, be careful. What do we got to do here? And we don't need a ninja anyway. And last but not least, our final contestant. I'm pretty strapping, young fella. Entry number eight, Alphonse. How great are you? Hmm. When it comes to inner beauty, none can compare to yours truly. Why is that? Behold, even with my stunningly good looks, I do not have a conceited bone in my body. Well, I'd beg to differ on that. I treat even the riffraff of society with dignity, and am the epitome of gentlemanly largesse. Hmm, reminds me of someone else. This year's contestants are fine in the looks department. But when it comes to inner beauty... Hmm. Shoot, just as I thought. No one's noticed the city is under attack. How could you possibly not notice that? Uh, what's this? Do we have a last minute entry here? Um, something like that. My lovely lass, while I appreciate your gumption, I'm afraid it is still my turn to... I ain't here to compete. Move it! Well, if you didn't hear the attack, or the Empire's attack, you'll hear ours. Everyone, listen up! The Empire's attacking the city! Get to safety at once! We are at safety! Where else could we go? What? You didn't notice? <laughs> safety? Uh-oh. I know that laugh. There will be no safety, ideally. Who's there? Who's that? Another of the Kaiser's minions? Yep. I am Geist. Geist the Bloody. Well, yeah, I could see it on your clothes. I will ask. The Skyhold. Who led the attack? We didn't even get here by then. These people don't know anything. We don't. <laughs> Preposterous. Ridiculous. But have it your way. Perhaps their corpses will be more talkative. I don't think that's how it works. Uh-oh. Ow. Well, he might be okay. You monster! Oh. <laughs> Did I kill them? <laughs> Do forgive me. Well, sticking them with the sword helps. Undo. What, what are you doing? Huh? Wasn't I just cut down to size? Well, it didn't reset their memory. Uh, uh, my wound! It's gone! Well, I wish I could do that trick. <laughs> Behold my power! The power to make anything that happens 
unhappen. Oh, how far can you go back with that? So, so you saved us? Saved you? Oh, yes. I'll save you over and over. Uh-oh. That I might be hurting you all the more. Well, I cut you down and bring you back. And cut you down and bring you back over and over and over again. Well, that's one way to torture someone. Your wounds may disappear, but the horror and pain will remain. <laughs> if you talk, perhaps, perhaps, I will show you mercy. I don't think so. You don't look like the merciful type. We do hope that someone here knows who attacked us. For if not... Well, couldn't you see, like, the general direction where they came from? I will make it as if every last one of you never happened. What do you mean? No, uh, please. I'm, I'm too handsome to die. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, pal. <laughs> I think not. More of them. The roads. No one leaves the city until we have answers. Yes, sir. Or we could just kick your ass. <laughs> like little rats in a trap. You will not be escaping my realm of torture. Won't you get rid of the teleport pig, too? You sadistic freak! The people of Florum had nothing to do with the attack. They didn't even know about you until we got here. Take this! Oh, the girl has some bite, but it means nothing. Undo! Well, maybe we should just one-shot you then. What? Do your worst. Every blow will be undone. <laughs> you can't do that forever. You have no chance of victory. No hope for escape. Your friends are busy playing with my soldiers. No one will come to help you. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. You can only sit and submit to my inquisition. Just like the good people of Florum. Well, I don't think your methods are very likely to be successful. Stop it! They really don't know anything. Can't you just leave them alone? Afraid not. <laughs> As you wish. Then we shall begin with you. What do you mean? Perhaps I will lop off your ears first. And next your fingers. Thin your limbs, one by one. But, I'll leave you your eyes, and your tongue. But, I have no ears. It would be a shame if you could not look on your body in pieces, and cry your secrets to me with your dying breaths. <laughs> well, you look like you're a little choked up there yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty big laugh you got there. Step no closer. Hey. Who do you think you are? Dark Knight. Pretty strong one, too. <gasps> Alternus, what are you doing here? Saving you? Whenever you're in peril, there I will be. So, you're stalking her, then? I will protect Idia against any foe. Though, I don't know how you'd be any more effective than against guys than us. You are in my way. Time that you disappear. 
You got body armor there. Alternus, are you all right? I just got stabbed, dude. Huh. Never better. What do you mean? Play a strike. Oh. The more pain I suffer, the more powerful I become. Oh, that's an interesting counter. <laughs> Impressive. I like how they incorporated the job class abilities into the plot here with that. My blade knows no mercy. My wounds become yours. Well, then you got a stalemate, huh? This is the way of the Dark Knight. Gladly I give my own life to vanquish my foe. Care to wager on which comes first? Me running out of life to give, or you falling to my blade? Well, you can't undo it if you're dead. <laughs> we may be made to clash, you and I. Apparently. Your proposition amuses me, but I have had enough amusement for today. Ah. We will meet again. I suggest you say farewell to your loved ones before we do. Good, good. Thank you, Alternus. You saved me again. Aww. And that is all that matters to me, Idia. I would come running from the farthest corner of Luxendark if only you called my name. Aww. Alternus. Whoa! What a power couple! Uh, not exactly. The girl who risked her own life to save our city. And the dashing knight who came to her rescue. Why, they're our saviors! Who better to be our flower maiden than Bloom Groom? Well, you can't really see his face. No doubt about the inner beauty of these two selfless souls. Are you guys the contestants or just people watching? I think they're just like part of the audience or something. What? Wait, you got it all wrong. A power couple, they say? Oh no. What have you done? You fool! Without further ado, let us resume the festivities. We got plenty of others in our group. Our final contenders are these two last-minute entrants, Idia and Alternus. Oh. Let's hear some noise from all of you who think they deserve to be this year's Flower Maiden and Bloom Groom. <laughs> I like the look on Idia's face. <laughs> I was like, how long are you guys going to go on with that? <laughs> what a reception. Looks like we have a runaway winner. But we didn't enter. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you your flower maiden and bloom groom, Idia and Alternus. Do we win anything? Let's give them another round of applause. Wouldn't you all like to know a little more? Uh, sure, why not? Tell us, how does it feel to be voted the finest couple in Florum? Well, alternate? Not too bad. It <laughs> seems that even with my helmet gone, I cannot hide my manly charms. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's alternate, all right. What the? Cool your jets there, Buckethead. Hmm? <laughs> hey, Buckethead! Yes, well, this year's contest does place an emphasis on inner beauty over mere good looks. Oh, um, well, he's probably got that too. And the beauty within you two has clearly charmed our audience today. Well, saving their lives helped too, probably. I have every confidence that any would have been chosen even if the contest was still one of looks alone. Whatever works for you. Can it, Alternus? <laughs> Angry face. Whoa, uh, what's going on here? Uh, we kind of just drove away the bad guys. What have you guys been doing? So, 
Professor Alternus, what are you doing here? Saving your ass? You guys, can you believe this? They chose us to be their flower couple or whatever. Us! Oh, darn. How horrible. Vraiment? How wonderful! Oh, might you be friends of a flower maiden and her bloom groom? We'd love to hear your impressions as well. Uh, no, th that's fine. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but good job, idiot. Yeah, way to go, you two. Maybe you should try that Bravo bikini. Sit on a cryo blood, a fellow uh -huh. she stashed one. I don't quite follow. I, uh, I don't follow what you're saying either, dude. No, no, I don't know. You're just mummy fake, truly a couple for the ages. Something like that. Oh, elle a bien dit incroyable. Huh? Who is this girl? And why does she speak our tongue? Oh, why do you? Are you from around here? Never saw that guy before. Oh. Well, you did, but you got better. So, what do we do now? Oh, that too, maybe. Ha ha. I didn't think she was particularly snobbish or anything, but in any case. Well, they only sent like three guys, or maybe six, I guess, or something. But uh, where'd, uh, where'd Sylvie go? I guess she's not around. Actually, hold on a sec. I want to check out the the treasure count here just to take a look at things. Oh yeah, what does uh, Anya have to say anything about this? Something like that. Oh, whatever works for you, I guess. Wait a minute, did I have zero here? Okay, good, good. I also want to check my treasure count left on the overworld as well. Eventually. Is there anything else going on? Oh. Well, that too. Maybe you should just have a regular beauty contest or something. Oh. I suppose something like that. Uh, oh, well. But, uh, okay, so... Oh, okay, I guess we gotta go this way to advance the plot. And that brings the 48th Sacred Flower Festival of Florum to a close. Hey! Thanks to all who took part, and take care on your way home, everyone. Well, today's just been full of surprises. Well, we got the job done, didn't we? I was quite taken aback as well, if not entirely displeased with the outcome. <laughs> Excusez-moi, vous avez une minute? Huh? Who's there? Me? Qu'est-ce que c'est? So you do understand me. Are you from the moon too? Yes, I do. But who are you? Oh, I would think you guys would know each other. He's speaking Magnolia's language, but how? Well, I guess they speak Moonlish around here, too. Could he also be... Ah, uh, I beg your pardon. I didn't mean to startle you. I couldn't help but overhear your remarks on stage. Kind of sounds a little bit like Geist. <laughs> the accent or whatever's going on. You were speaking the language of the Sagita. Oh, who are they? The who what -a? The Sagita. We are a humble tribe, but one with a mission. Defeat the destroyer from the heavens, Baal. Oh. We live deep within the forest of Florum, far from the eyes of the people. Well, at least they gave you an excuse to why we didn't see you guys in the first game. Oh, 
You also battled the balls? Hmm, what a coincidence. Yes. Since my father's time, my father's fathers, and all who came before me. Oh, um, how far back does that go? We live in isolation, so that the technology we wield against our enemy does not fall into the wrong hands. Oh, okay. Interaction with the outside world is kept to a minimum. Then what are you doing here? So you can imagine my surprise to hear you speaking the Sejita tongue. Tell me, how did you come to know it? We invented it. That's what I wanted to ask you. This is my language, the language of the moon. What's this you say? You come from the moon? Yeah, we got a spaceship and everything. This is quite the turn of events. If you would, pray come and speak with our elder. Oh. Okay, I mean, we have nothing better to do. Surely you have questions for us as well. What do you say? Sure, why not? An exchange of information? Right. You can tell us about the moon, and we can tell you about that beam of light, for instance. Oh, okay. <gasps> you! That would explain a little. I heard him. Now we have to go. But what if the Empire comes pounding on Florum's door again? Oh, yeah, that's true, once we leave. I'll speak with the Matriarch about shoring up the city's defenses. How are you going to do that? With flowers? In the meantime, count on me to watch over Florum. Oh, huh. okay, well, yeah, I mean, you're the only one who could really fend off Geist. You're the best, Alternus. All right, Monsieur, will you show us the way to your village? But of course, if you would just lend me your map, Mademoiselle, uh... Sure, why not? Magnolia, enchanté. Moi de même, I am Lotus, engineer of the Sagita. Hey, a fellow engineer! But, uh, okay, so once we've done with all that, we could go to the Sagita for us, or we could do side quests! So let's go do that. Uh, let's see, seven treasures? Yeah, that's how much we should have at this point. So, good. We're good to go on that. Let's just get back to JP up for now. Eventually, I will switch Tiz back over to uh, Charioteer. I want to get Wanton Destruction. But for now, we'll just stick with Thief as long as we're going to be on the overworld and all that. Just me, what an outrage! Can I not even eat dessert in peace? Oh, okay, never mind then. Get out of here. I thought four servings of cake was enough, ma'am. <laughs> now, if you please. Of course, of course, I'm just so busy with everyone pulling me in every direction. I'm starting to get motion sickness. Uh oh. <laughs> well, then, what's on the agenda for today? What are you up to? Dude. Now then, your inspection of the Twilight Ruins and the feasibility study for the new school. Oh. Well, they're ruined. What what else would be there? Oh, no, 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 no! An inspection and that blasted study? There would need to be two of me to do it all. Oh. They work me hmm. to the bone, I say. To the bone! It's exploitation. That's what it is. They think they're going to dump all this work on me? Alone? Who's they? I think not. You, you there. Huh? Huh? I hereby name you Florum's Interim Superintendent of Education. Effective immediately. What education? We don't need no education. Hetty, do see that all the necessary paperwork is filed. What paperwork? Yes, ma'am. I didn't agree to anything. Super and what? Uh, sorry, I'm not sure. We're trying to save the world here. Now that that's taken care of, since I am so passionate about Luxendark's cultural heritage, I will go to the ruins. Oh. Goodbye! Have fun getting destroyed by the monsters! While you survey people about the new school, your stocky little legs look well suited to tromping about the town, at least. Chop chop! Uh, no, we don't live here. We don't care about your schools. Hold on, lady. I don't know you from a bowl of gravy, but... Enough with the gravy references! Shush, shush, shush! 
Zip those lips and move those hooves. Uh. Does that count as a murder girl? Not quite. I'll go with oh, it. Don't worry, dear. Everyone is nervous their first time. Take heart. I believe in you. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. We'll be taking our leave then. I'll be waiting for your report. Where? Yes, ma'am. I didn't know of any school around here. My word. What a powerful figure. She's like a force of nature. Well, that's one way of looking at her. Just wait a minute. I still don't even know who any of you people are. Well, they probably live here. The esteemed personage you just met is Miss Ursula U. Duet, Chancellor of Education from Al Campus. Oh, okay. Is Ursula's name supposed to be some kind of a uh, pun that I'm just not getting? I mean, I get heady, heady steady there. I am Hetty Steady, one of her administrative assistants. A pleasure to meet you. Yeah, pleasure. Uh, and what is this job she just dumped on me? <laughs> Chancellor Duet has delegated to you the vital task of overseeing all matters of education here in Florum. All kinds of education? It's an honor, Superintendent Lee. Ha <laughs> ha! Moving up in the world, aren't we now? <laughs> I had no idea you were so passionate about education, Idia. <laughs> Even you is getting in on it. <laughs> <sighs> Laugh all you want, guys. Let's just get this over with. What am I supposed to survey or whatever? What's up? The Alcampus Ministry of Education is planning to open a new academy right here in Florum. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that would explain why there's no schools here yet. We are conducting a thorough survey of the populace to determine what sort of school might best serve their needs. What, what other kinds of schools are there? That sounds pretty vague. Can't you just give me, like, a yes or no question? Indeed. Let us start with the question of whether or not the campus should be co-educational. What does that mean? Okay, so I'll find out if people want one school for everyone or separate schools for girls and boys. Then I'm done, right? Okay, I guess we could look into that. Not exactly. We already did a preliminary survey. The results being 10 in support of a co-educational system, 10 in support of single-sex education, and 40 with no particular preference. Ah, okay. If you already did the survey, then what do you need me for? <laughs> Beat me to it there, Adia. Ay, okay, okay. So what should I do? Find out more about the co-ed supporters and naysayers? Why do I get the feeling this is going to lead to a battle to the death? That would be a suitable place to start. The leaders of each faction are both teachers here in town. Oh, okay. We would appreciate it if you could listen to their arguments and render a decision. Will you speak with them? Why not? I don't see what choice I've got. Mm. Lead the way. I'd be delighted to, if you would just follow me to the city's upper level. Oh, that's an upper level? That is where we will find the leader of the anti-coed faction. One Ms. Rhea Veeling. Oh, okay. I was about to say, what's the... Uh... The pun there, but, uh, I get it. I understood that reference. That's the joke. Oh, okay. Uh, does anyone else around here have anything to say about that? Oh, no, I guess not. Okay, never mind, then. Let's, uh, head on upward, I guess. Kind of surprised they don't have a blue marker on the screen leading me up there. Like, the first time I played the game, I didn't, uh, really know what was going on with that until I stumbled upon this. Stand with us against co-education! Don't allow these outsiders to come in and muddy our good morals! Uh, uh about that... Take a stand against co-education! So that's the leader of the group that wants separate education? Something like that. That is correct. Ms. Rhea Veeling. 
She may come from academia, but many say she has political aspirations. Well, you already got a queen. What's with the dowdy old drivel, eh? No one wants to see you out here, you saggy old hag. What? This is the era of gender equality. Co-education is the only way to the future. What's with the hat you got on there, pal? Equal opportunities for men and women. One school for men and women. And that's the leader for the co-ed supporters? Hmm. Quite so. Mr. Sweaty Tracksuit. He was hired just this spring as an interim physical education instructor. Well, someone's got to do it. That mask looks awfully familiar. Like one of those Sky Knights or something. There you are, and in that grubby tracksuit, no less. Today's the day we win this debate once and for all. Most people don't seem to really care. Dream on. Just you try with those old-fashioned ideals of yours. Huh. It would seem your awareness of the times <laughs> is rivaled only by your impeccable fashion sense. <laughs> I like the steam in the background. <laughs> Look! Forum isn't just for women any longer. Haven't you heard of the Equal Rights Act? It's the law, you old bag! Oh, okay. So men and women have equal rights. Why should that mean they have to study together, hmm? Well, they don't have to. They could do something else together. Men and women are different, and there's no denying that. Why should they have to do everything exactly the same way? Why not? Oh, come off it. What's so different about us? Uh, well, yeah. We wear different clothing. We show our emotions differently. We even use different toilets. We have toilets in JRPGs? It's like comparing this impeccable couture skirt of mine to a stinky threadbare tracksuit. Huh. What does that have anything to do with education? Don't answer that, viewers. Just shows what you know. I bet my tracksuit costs more than your entire outfit, and it actually covers my legs. Is his name supposed to be some kind of a pun? And the whole world thanks you for that. Some sights can never be unseen, after all. <laughs> Anyhow, there is simply no reason why girls and boys should have to study together. Why, even if we were to adopt your proposal, the female to male ratio would be nearly 70 to 1. Well, that would be the opposite of my experience in college. So, why don't we just set up a boys' school in some big, stinky swamp somewhere? I dare say you'd be right at home. Oh, well, we got plenty of those around here. Why, you nasty old... You expect boys to enjoy that kind of school life? Where's the passion? The romance? Uh, we're talking about education here, dude. Passion? Romance? Oh, oh, school is a place for education. For study. I'd have to agree with that one. Ha! Shows what you know. Romance might be the single most important part of a student's life. Uh, I would have to beg to differ on that one. Young boys and girls sitting across from each other in the classroom, stealing glances. That's all a part of education. It is? The bittersweet taste of first love is what being young is all about. Not that an old maid like you would know anything about that. Uh oh. Oh! Who are you calling an old maid? Ha <laughs> ha! And a one and a two! Old maid. Old maid. Old maid. Okay, everybody, all together! Old maid! Ah, oh, I think I've heard enough. I'd better stop this before they sink any lower with their insults. They can? Oh, uh, okay, I guess uh, we talked to you then, huh? Could I have a minute of your time? Yeah, what's going on here with all this? Well, you, 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 you're Idiot Lee! Huh, I thought I knew that mask. Well, what do you mean? I, ma'am, sweaty tracksuit, formerly of the Eternian Sky Knights, at your service. 
What happened to the rest of your uniform? I do remember your mask, but I'm afraid that's all I remember. Oh, that's all right. It's only natural. What do you mean? I left the Sky Knights two years ago due to an injury and returned to my home to help out. That's when I went back to school, you see. Oh. Last year, I finally got my teacher's license. It was a dream come true. So why didn't you go to uh, our campus then? And that's when you came to Florin? That's right. If I may ask, what brings you here, ma'am? Miss Lee is Florin's new superintendent of education. She's here to make an important decision about the new school. Unfortunately. Oh, amazing! Daughter of the Grand Marshal, Vice Captain of the Ducal Guard, and now a superintendent, too! Well, got a busy schedule. Not to mention saving the world while we're doing all this. Superintendent Lee. <laughs> Would you give it a rest, Tiz? Ha uh ha. -huh. So, why are you so gung-ho about co-education? What drove you to be the leader of this movement? Uh, I guess I just wanted to make this new school into something like the Sky Knights. What about it? Like the Sky Knights? What do you mean? Yes, ma'am. In the Sky Knights, I served alongside both men and women. Everyone laughing and working together. Sure, we didn't always see eye to eye. Sometimes we even came to blows. But we were always there for each other. Yeah, like setting each other on fire. Good times! <laughs> I want every young person to be able to experience that kind of camaraderie. That's my real dream. Oh, okay. I've even thought of a name for the new school. How about the Florum Academy of Passion and Pedagogy? What's a pedagogy? That's certainly a name. <laughs> I like it! Mm-hmm! The Florum School of Burning Passion and Pex! Hey, I know that voice! Huh? Well, what in the world? Hey! Greetings, little friend! It's been far too long, I'd say. So, what do you have anything to do with this? What was your name again? Not exactly a bookworm, from what I remember. Tracksuit, sir. Sweaty tracksuit. I was under your direct command, sir. Oh, ho, ho. And if it ain't Idia. How you been, girly? Hey, boss. G great. Thanks, Ferris. <laughs> what an imposing friend you have, Idia. Aren't you going to introduce us? He was one of the helmsmen of the Sky Knights, a main division of the Eternian forces. Yeah, we'll just call him Helmsman. That's right! Feast your eyes on this! You're looking at the legendary warrior, Barris Lair! <laughs> Barris Lair. The beast in the ring. Holder of the Monk Asterisk. He served briefly alongside Idia in their time as members of the Eternian Sky Knights. Yeah, Monk was pretty good in the first game. A born brawler who lives for the sound of flesh hitting flesh. He has a rugged charm, despite his coarse and vulgar nature. Maybe he should become a tank. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? What does he have anything to do with this? So, what are you all standing around here yammering about, huh? Let me in on the action. What action? W would you be willing to join the cause, sir? We could definitely use your support. What cause? Oh, right. Hmm. I really don't get what you're so worked up about, but you just want me to say I'm on your side, right? That good? Sure, why not? What? Uh, yes, sir. To elaborate, the Sky Knights inspired me to create a learning environment unbound by traditional notions of gender and... Yeah, yeah, sounds good. I'll leave the pesky details to you, kid. Yeah. I'm on your side. Whatever it is you want to do. Bet you're <laughs> feeling pretty lucky right about now, huh? Huh? Who wouldn't? Why not? I'm planning to stick around town for a while, so give a holler if you need me. See ya, tracksuit. 
why do I get the feeling he has no idea what he just agreed to? Pretty much. I have a bad feeling about all this. Again. <laughs> well, Superintendent Lee, shall we go hear what Miss Veeling has to say next? Sure. Why not? But, uh, oh, right. So, what do we got here? Anything else? Ah, okay. Well, I guess, I mean, do you even live here now? I don't know. But, yeah, how are we gonna, like, pay for all this and everything? Well, whatever works for you guys. But who's the other asterisk bearer that's interested in this? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Second End Lair. This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!